Hello everyone and welcome to the third episode of our Rise of the Wellington Firebirds career mode guys where today we're going to be taking on Northern Districts at Hamilton in the Plunkett Shield yet again. We can see that uh, Johns is now fit to play again and Peter Young Husband has improved his attacking bowling. But without further ado guys, let us get straight into it and let's see how we go guys. Alright, here we are with the team selections. Uh, looking at the current year, we can see that Friends is averaging 28. We can see that Revenger is averaging 23. Conway averaging 36. Nisham 34. Peter Young Husband is getting swapped out by the looks of it. Because his bowling just isn't quite good enough at this level, we think. Currently have Hamish Marshall on the bench, and we're going for it. Okay. Wellington is set to call here. They've got Brownlee, Cooper, Mitchell, Young, Roy, Anderson, Seifert, Flynn, Cougar Lion, Walker, and Baker. Will Young is playing for Northern Districts, which he does not normally do. And Jason Roy as well. And everything else, really, all the players there are pretty samey. Daniel Flynn is batting number 8, which is ex uh, extremely interesting to see. As Ridley's going to be bowling to Brownlee. That's an edge, is it? Yes, what a catch that is by Tom Blundell. Would you believe it? To start things off here, Logan Van Beek gets Henry Cooper trapped in front as well for 41. We're going quite hard er, very early here. In terms of Mitchell, probably has already settled at the crease. But lunch on day one, 108 for two. Looking around again, and we are giving up most uh, the most amount of runs, which is not the best effort there. We're going to drop the aggression, that's for sure, as Jimmy Neesham's going to bowl now. With Alex Ridley's bowled quite well so far. Can he keep it up is the real question. Logan Van Beek into the attack. Mitchell on 42. Young on 33. Mitchell brings up 50. Well played to Daryl Mitchell there. As Will Young also brings up a 50. And uh, this is turning out to be quite a devastating partnership for the Wellington Firebirds here. We really have to make a change. And Ravindra comes on to bowl now. Which is interesting. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I don't know. It's just not... We're just not getting any chances really from any of our bowls at the moment, guys. It's really... Really bad. Ollie Newton is bowling extremely well. Ridley to Mitchell and traps him in front for 76 at last. But Jason Roy walks out at number 5 and he's bashing it all over the shop. 26 or 15. And Will Young brings up 100. 105 off 140. And finally, Nisham has him bowled. And it's going quickly out of hand for Wellington. But that's an edge and that's gone. Corey Anderson gone. What about Seifert? Nearly. Nearly cleaned out. Not to be. 284 for 5 in just 2 sessions. Gee, it's a really, really good day of cricket for Northern Districts. Ridley going at 4s. Van Beek going at 6s per over. In a first class game on day 1. Not going the best. And even Nisham going at 4s. But that's gone. As Seifert edges behind. And Benny Sears has conceded 93 runs. Ollie Newton, he's bowled very well. He deserves a breakthrough, but doesn't get it at that time. Newton to Flynn, outside leg. Newton to Jason Roy. Edged and taken. Blundell takes a good catch. And uh, Newton finally has his first wicket there. Well deserved, that is for sure. As Logan Van Beek's been going at sixes per over, but he's got a wicket. Daniel Flynn is trapped in front. LBW, thank you very much. Well done to Logan Van Beek there as Cougar Lion faces up from Van Beek. And it's a swing and a miss. New ball has been taken. Van Beek to Cougar Lion. Edged and taken by first slip. There you go. Jimmy Neesham takes the catch. Good work. 390, 361 for 9. That's just outside off stump. Neesham comes on to the attack now to Walker. Can't get him. It's an appeal. But it will remain not out as Ridley and Neesham are combining here. But they cannot break through this partnership. Ollie Newton probably deserves this wicket, but it's going to be Nisham, is it? No. No, it's edged away for four. Down leg. Oh, dear. And at the end of day one, they're going to get 423 for nine. Joe Walker on 43 from number 10. Jeepers. Nisham finally picks up Baker for 19. There you go. And Nisham's got a four for... To end the innings out, Richard, Friends, and Ratchin Ravindra will be out to begin the innings here. Cougar line to Friends, and that's outside off stump. Don't worry about that one, Friends. Cougar line to Friends. Another swing and a miss. Edged and taken, though. 
And he's gone for 11 off 41. His pretty poor form of getting runs continues this season as Ravindra is getting himself set in nicely. 26, he's got a start now. Same with Conway yet again. Joe Walker, the off spinner, gets Conway. Oh no, it's an absolute disaster. Malcolm Knoffel to the crease and Ravindra's gone. He's cleaned up for 35. It gets worse and uh, gee, we are in all sorts of trouble. 75 for three, trailing by 348. And it looks like I've decided to shut up shop. I've decided that on day two, session two, it's probably best if we shut up shop to try and get a partnership going here. And uh, it's actually worked a tree here because Nishim is actually getting a good innings going. 39, moves into the 40s to back up his four for 77. Moves to 50 as well. There you go. Nishim brings up a 15th first class 50, his third of the season. That brings up T on day two. And guys, I think we actually did miss a couple of games in the middle there guys so I do apologize about that as that's an edge for four Noffel gets cleaned up Cougar Lion beats him with pace there you go and he's gone is Noffel Fraser Colson now to the crease and he's oh my goodness me edge between two short infielders and Nisham's played all around it and is gone and Tom Blundell to the crease batting at number seven Walker to Colson Obviously, back in the day, uh, Blundell was bat number seven. He used to obviously do that for Wellington uh, all the time, but nowadays he would be opening. But anyway, that's besides the point. Just thought I'd let you know. Fraser Colson is getting himself in as well. 19 now. Blundell definitely taking his time. Moving to 20 now. One over left in the day. We survived day two. 234 for five. Not too bad there. We've actually gained five bonus points in the mix there. And we've got 115 partnership for the fourth wicket between Noffel and Nisham. And 47 runs between Colson and Blundell right now. Scott Kugelheim, 2 for 66. Walker, 2 for 59. Uh, so far, the pick of the bowlers, 189. To begin day three here, as we're going quite defensive again, really seeing ourselves in on this first session. Kugelheim around the wicket, and is outside leg though. Won't worry about that one. Colson's getting himself in nicely with Blundell. Blundell is reaching 50 quicker than Colson, which is interesting. Because Colson had faced uh, more deliveries, but nonetheless, Tom Blundell, yeah, he's had a bit of a dry patch of runs, but he's got 50 at last. Well done to Tom Blundell there. He's got 54 of 150. It's definitely a fighting innings. But speaking of fighting innings, what is Colson up to? He's just, I mean, he's in a batting bubble of his own. 34 of 100 and, oh my goodness me, 40 off 200 balls, guys. That's crazy. That is crazy stuff. Blundell at 78 now. Colson. Oh, he's going to run him out, isn't he? He's going to run him out. Oh, no. Blundell, he's worked so hard. But he's gone for 79. Miscommunication. Blundell runs his partner out. And now Logan Van Beek joins Colson. He's got 50 of 236 balls. Insane stuff. He's taken so long to get there. Let me know, guys, if you've actually hit a slower 50 than that, because that is incredibly slow, if I've ever seen it. I don't think I've ever broken that one, that's for sure. 236 deliveries, and he's gone! Van Beek's hit it straight to leg slip, which is Jason Roy. Now Ollie Newton and Fraser Colson have to make a partnership here, as Fraser Colson's actually... I've upped his aggression because... Oh, I've actually downed it again, because he is going quite slow. That's gone, though. Ollie Newton gone, Sears first delivery, he misses it, and has dropped it short leg, and is going down leg. Okay, what an over that is. Fraser Colson's got to retain the strike because uh, Benny Sears is not doing the best, and, uh, well, he's surviving. Cougar line to Sears, and he gets him. He finally gets him with a full and straight ball, Alex Ridley. Surely Fraser Colson's going to go harder than he's going right now, because... Yeah, there you go, because we've only got one wicket left. Colson's got to really get himself out here if he wants to score any more runs. It's down leg, though. Ridley, Anderson around the wicket, and he gets him. And Ridley's gone for 5 of 26. Colson, would you believe it? 66 not out of 333 deliveries. Wowie. 
That is 412 minutes at the crease, and that is insane batting for just 66 runs. We're looking at the New Zealand match right now. BJ Watling is 81 not out for 168 or 169 deliveries there. New Zealand 183 for one. Muhammad Amir has a wicket. Looking around. Australia lost to South Africa in a, in a one-day game. And uh, looking there, Yazir Ali, 105 and 41 for Canterbury. Doing a fantastic job. Scott Kugelin's got four in the last innings. We are out to bowl again. They're probably going to set us up a declaration. Sears to Brownlee and gets him. What a delivery that is. Seems back nicely. And we've started quite well, actually, in the second innings. 27 for one after 12 overs. Done really, really well. Sears and Ridley bowling to Mitchell and Cooper. And again, they're getting a bit away again. This partnership, what a catch from Conway. That second slip, though, gets it. And that is Ridley with the wicket there as Ollie Newton and Ravindra comes in. Lunch on day four, though. One session, no, two sessions left. Two sessions left. So 50 up for both uh, Cooper and Young. Young brings up back-to-back -back 50s. Can he get to 100 will be a question will be answered soon. But Cooper's gone for 54 as Logan Van Beek picks him up. Well done there to Logan Van Beek. Ravindra's bowling, but he's not creating any chances for us right now. As the innings is declared, Northern Districts declare at 266, setting us 267 to win in a session and a half. And normally, guys, I would go for this total, but as you can see, wow, we not a great uh, start there. Ravindra gone, great catch from Jason Roy at second slip. Conway joins friends, and we've actually decided, nah, we're going to shut up shop. We're not going to be able to do it. And uh, T on day four. To be fair, it's, it's a steep task. 266 runs in two, or a session and a half is quite steep. But nowadays, I would personally go for it myself. Obviously, this is past me, so I didn't back myself to do it. But never mind. It is what it is. We're just going to bat and have a bit of freedom. Get some form going. Richard, friends, and Conway as Walker bowls to friends. And he's edged off, unfortunately. He has edged off there as Conway. Uh, swings and misses. As you can see, the field's quite defensive. So, oh, no, Noffle's gone for one off 12. As you can see, it's quite defensive. So if you did decide to go for a, a, a higher aggression, you would actually be able to take advantage with the field being out because there's lots of gaps. But nonetheless, Conway gets 37, not out of 132. And the match is drawn. There you go. Will Young takes the player of the match, getting 192, not out in two different innings there. As we are going to continue to the next match where Hamish Bennett has returned from international duty. Uh, Luke Woodcock also returns to the squad there. And we are taking on Canterbury at home. We are now in sixth place though, which is not ideal. And we've prepared a batsman's pitch last time. We're going to prepare at a random pitch. Guys, that is actually going to be it for today's episode of this Wellington Firebirds career mode, guys. The rise of the Wellington Firebirds. If you did enjoy, then please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias down below in the description, especially on Twitter, guys. I tweet out a lot. And join my Discord server or hit the post notification bell to receive exclusive updates for when all my videos go live. Join my Discord server, guys, or hit the post notification bell to receive exclusive updates for when all of my videos go live. Leave your comments down below on this series, guys. What are your thoughts so far on the series? How are we tracking along? Who's going to become a superstar in the future? Make your predictions down below in the comments. Please let me know who you think is going to become superstars for the Wellington team. And who do you think is going to be a future black cap from this current Wellington setup, guys? And until next time, guys, I will see you then. Goodbye for now.